Hi Libra, I'm here with blue moon messages for you. We have a blue moon, a super moon coming up at the end of this month and here are your messages. Um, interesting that I per picked a purple hair filter, but oh god, I even have a nose ring. Oh, okay. Maybe you want to change it up. This is the number 10 card, so 10s are about endings and beginnings, my love. So the picture here is depicting a grandmother energy, the sage energy, and sharing her wisdom and light with mothers and children. And there's also, I feel like that's buffalo energy above on the top there. Okay, about wisdom and abundance. Let's see what this uh, grandmother energy wants to say to you all. The grandmother, third initiation. The grandmother, the healing storyteller. The net of cosmic grandmothers. Tonitzin, the core, the liquid fire. See that, all right? Okay. Aging is a time of welcome darkness, the end of a woman's bleeding cycles, menopause. A woman who no longer menstruates takes charge of the power within her. The womb becomes a moon crystal, a crystal ball. This is the time in which her ancient wisdom and life experience are expressed. Old women are teachers and guides that attend to and nurture young girls and boys in their first years of life. They counsel mothers. The wise old woman has great strength, holding up a lantern and lighting the way for others, illuminating the inner path. The sage grandmother knows the way. So tune into grandmother energy here. I know that um, I'm so grateful for the grandmothers that I had. Um, as a young girl because it's true they taught me everything that I know about unconditional love and I am so very grateful and now I can give that unconditional love back to those who didn't know how either like my own mother yeah <laughs> so what are I mean get my playing cards out now I want to know what numbers are talking to Libra right now uh, for this super blue moon the Sun is just popping out here in Massachusetts. Yay, the sun for you. Positivity, new beginnings, Libra. Yes, I love that so much. Lighting the way for others on this healing journey, right? Birthing a new life. There's a baby there, right? Very fertile energy, a birthing a new life. And I pick, there's no coincidence when I pick up this feather. I've been messing with this feather. This feather is about live and speak your truth. You have a new perspective now. Ace of swords, ace of, ace of uh, spades here. What else? Taking the, taking the power back in your life. Maybe you're, you're learning some advice from an elder or somebody's teaching you something here. You're taking that wisdom in. You're, you're nostalgia for the past. Maybe you're missing your grandmother. She's still connected to you. The grandmother sage is showing the way. Six of cups. There's a lot of love in this situation. Six of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> And there might be a lot around you. The five of uh, clubs is the five of wands. So big changes. Fives are big changes. Maybe there was a lot of arguments. Maybe there was a lot of negativity around you. A lot of commotion, whatever it is. Um, the love is the focus here with this center. The six of cups. Focus on your emotional body. Okay? Maybe you need to pour more love into your child heart. You're taking a fresh perspective on that. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. There you are. <laughs> like, hi, I'm here. Healing to the divine feminine. Trusting your intuitive soul knowing. No longer lying to yourself either. Okay? Seven of spades. Sevens are about wisdom. Spiritual wisdom gained. Okay? Now what else? Why I'm so worried about this blue feather for you all, Libra? I don't know. <laughs> What do the Archangels want to tell Libra Collective today? Some passionate messages coming. The Page of Wands. Ooh, these cards are just flying now. Ooh, doing a flip and a twirl for you and everything. Oh, Libra. Landed right on top of that blue feather. So the back of this blue feather, this is the parrot feather, by the way. And we've learned a lot about words when we, we like, I found this. Feather in Hawaii, Maui, and I have never been so excited in my life. Yeah, 
somebody had a pet parrot over there and I was on a nature walk and found it. But this keeps turning around because you learn some sort of golden, it's gold on the back, gold wisdom here. And it's time to share your truth. And what card's coming out? The chariot, taking direction, like taking the reins in your life, all right? Moving forward. This is about being um, confident, driven, especially these two, okay? About what you're passionate about. Uh, Self-control and determination, career advancement even, tr literally travel, um, and acknowledgement of success by others. This Gabriel here says to follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure are coming. Um, this also could be a person in your life that is very childlike in nature, uh, who's very energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And you also have the sun out here, which is talking. I mean, did I not just mention the sun pouring into my room? And it's actually lighting this card up right over here where I had it late. Okay, so life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and, and, in and inspiring success. I am having trouble with my words here too. So I definitely would um, tune into some throat chakra healing medicine, sound healing, speak your truth, the blue I've got the blue stone on my neck today. I'm kind of tripping and stumbling up over my words here a bit. Um, and yeah, there's been some sort of pain from the past that you are releasing with the three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. And it is one of the most painful cards. Maybe you were experiencing a time where you were feeling a lot of pain in your body, heartbreak from a certain situation. But there's a dove there as well, which says peace is coming. So... With this full moon, release the past, release the burdens of others, be motivated and focused on new beginnings here, what you're passionate about, and um, yeah, I see good things coming. Uh, yeah, taking charge in your life, emperor energy as well. Whew, good, 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 Libra, good. Um, let's go, I still have some time. Let's get you one more message. This could be from your past over loved ones, spirit guides, guardian angels. What do they want to tell you? You have a spirit team. You're not alone. You're a divine co-creator, right? Right. What do I need to tell Libra? What does their heart need to hear today? <laughs> Cause of flying. Maybe you're flying. <laughs> there is travel here. <laughs> so... Uh, with love, the back of a postcard says, Dearest you. And it's written in blue, too. Not all of these cards are in blue. So something with the color blue, emotional healing, speaking the truth, healing with the throat chakra, all of that. We have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master, and you don't even know it. <laughs> There will always be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. Mm. But the truth is that the universe is abundant. You are and always have been enough, and abundance is your natural state. If you can imagine something consistently as truth, you can and will create it. You are so on the right path now. Keep believing. Then the seeing happens. Loving you more and more every day. Yay! Yay! Yay, Libra, you're figuring it out. I told you you're a divine co-creator and you are absolutely manifest in this shit, aren't you? You may not be aware of it yet, but if you consistently think and dream about what it is that you're creating in your reality, it's coming. It's coming. Know this truth. Know this truth. <laughs> okay? I love you guys so much. If you need your own personal blue moon reading, please do reach out to me. I'm here for you. I love you. And by the way, it's 444 on the clock. Oh, bitches, yes. That's divine protection and angels guiding you, okay? That's a beautiful number to see while I'm doing your reading, Libra. I love you so much.